Imagine if you were to ask me to solve a complicated problem, and I were to give you an answer, just an answer, without any form of explanation, basis, or justification. And uh, would you just take my word for it and just blindly follow that advice without if you can even follow it at all? This is the deep problem with deep learning, that of being a black box that just gives you an answer. Blindly following such advice is going to lead to hidden bias that will lead to flawed decisions, possibly incorrect ones, and waste of resources, and unethical outcomes, which may lead to a backlash against AI. This is our solution to it. What are we doing different that is from anyone else? We basically took AI research that has been overlooked by others, we combined it with frameworks, and also put our secret sauce to go beyond what black box AI can do, beyond what simple statistical inference can do. AI that can actually explain itself and its decisions. AI that can reduce the need for data. And AI that can also speed up learning. Our solution is applicable virtually anywhere where a non-trivial decision needs to be made and can be hosted on the cloud and IoT. Our vision is to create explainable AI for the good of society that impacts society positively, one vertical at a time. AI that assists people rather than replaces them. Why now? Current narrow AI solutions are expected to reach a plateau, which can be only overcome with our solution. Together with my two co-founders, Mauro Piron and Olga Fingel, I've built a team with deep expertise in data science, finance, operations, marketing, and sales. Our team of advisors have people like Noel Sharkey, the United Nations expert on ethical AI, uh, Yorick Wilkes, the inventor of machine translation, and also Mike Rosner, a key figure in the AI research in Switzerland. I, Angelo Dali, have a PhD in AI. I've been doing this for 20 years, and this is my ninth startup as an entrepreneur. Over the, 15, the last 15 years, I've had five successful exits. So as a team, we've got exactly what it takes to make this a success. Our business model maximizes annual recurring revenue and uses a hub and spoke model. And the results so far have been very exciting. We have 250,000 in initial revenue in the first four months. Um, uh, in the a pilot project in Colombia, we managed to save so much money there, 20 times, that they managed to give free Wi-Fi to all the Colombians. Um, and we're seeking 2 million to protect the seed round, develop, and grow our product over the 1.4 million we already invested. Our solution is unique and a game changer. We're taking AI out of its black box and making it into something that can explain itself. We are Omni, and uh, we are doing AI the right way. Thank you. But what does it actually do for the Colombians? Um, so basically, what we are doing, we're monitoring Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi points, and uh, seeing uh, when something is going to fail, we're predicting the failure and telling them, listen, this is the context, these are the steps that you need to do, and then they can make an informed decision whether to send a maintenance crew out, possibly in some remote area, or not. So this is why they save 20 times the cost. And this was an easy way of actually making sure that the, also the technology is scaled up, because there are 11 million points uh, being in use simultaneously. Are there forms of inferential question that this is adapted to, or is it broad? It is broad. Um, we, uh, we focused on seven verticals from 120. We were going through them. Um, so we're going to apply it in regulated industries where an explanation is absolutely key, because it is something where deep learning cannot be applied to. So for example, the first two verticals will be on legal and also in payments industry. And uh, how do you charge for that um, Colombian case, for example? So, so we're charging a little bit of consultancy in the beginning to make sure that the model is built up correctly. And then we'll charge uh, per fee, basically, per API, per usage. So we scale up our ARR. And you're going to just focus on this vertical first and then others? Or? Yes, we're going to go first through the first two verticals, focus on that for the first year, and then uh, continue growing up to, until we reach the first seven. And you sold this in Colombia to, to who? To the government of Colombia, basically. And we also have four other customers that have signed up and more in the pipeline. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs>